This is the video review for Transformers Prime 1st Edition Voyager Class Bulkhead. And this is a really nice figure. His vehicle mode in pictures and certain comparison shots with uh, certain other green trucks. He looks small, but he doesn't feel small. And in person, he, he looks like he deserves to be a Voyager. He is a really nice vehicle. However, I do have several problems. One, this is the obvious problem. Weapon storage looks silly. But if you don't like it, don't store it. It's probably what I'm going to do. Second, this back here splits way too easily. Third, these panels at the top, or at the front of the car, they don't really peg into the, anything. They just sort of sit flat and... They sit flat as best as they can. So once you get them where you're happy enough with them, don't touch them and you should be fine. He rolls really well, and he's a really nice vehicle. Can't really see what much is. And I really like it. To transform it is very clever. First thing you want to do is grab, not back here, but up here. Grab and pull down. And when you pull down, you won't just pull the legs down, you'll also pull this down back here. And that's really clever because it makes, this panel just hides away inside there, but it makes it look like he has a lot more panels that come over him in vehicle mode, which is really neat. Then you will separate the legs around this crotch piece, and then bring them down. Bring them down, open the feet, open the feet. And then, bring this down. Bring this down. Pull these up. And he, this is a step that you can do. You can rotate these up, but there's not much point because they'll be covered by the uh, door windows in, via, in a robot mode. And you can't really see that they're up, but it is something you can do. And then you will take this little tab and tab it into this black piece that extended down. And then clip this over. And I suggest doing that before you uh, pl well, plug these onto these tabs up here. Because if you do, with the other way around, these things will go onto these tabs a lot tighter. And when you bring that piece down, it will force them down off of the piece. So it's wasted effort and I don't think it'd break anything. The potential is always there and for some reason these are fighting me. They're not wanting to go. It's a little troublesome, these pieces. They should just go right on, but they're not. Like, here they're going on, but then when I bring this down to plug in... Uh, pop, well, I was wrong, do it the other way. I've had them pop off from doing that before, but then I wasn't able to get them to sit on as tightly as they should. So it's kind of a tight fit, it's kind of awkward. Just do the best you can. Next what you'll do is you'll raise up this piece back here and then you'll raise these pieces up and that, uh, these pieces here, this gray piece will actually sandwich over a couple parts on this wheel and door assembly that comes off like this so you have to raise those pieces up to do it and then just flip them around forward like this Flip around forward like this. And then just kind of bend them down to get them out of the way. Yeah, just bend them down for now. Then come back here, pull out the arms and bring them around. 
bring out the arms and bring them around. Fold this down like this, which will allow you to rotate up the head. Pull these out. And then these will, right here, will plug into this backpack piece that came down and the wheels will sit on his back. Rotate out the fists, out the fists, and fold his shoulder pan panels in. Now the instructions show to just push them in as far as you can, but what I like to do is leave them a little bit up and out like this. And the reason why is because if you hold, fold them in like this, you can't lower his arm without moving this anyway because it bumps into this part of his chest. So, doing it like this doesn't look that bad, and it saves some trouble. And this is Bulkhead. He looks really nice. The transmission is fun, though a bit aggravating at times, especially the first time you do it. It took me... And not necessarily because I couldn't tell what was going on, but because I couldn't quite tell how to get the parts or to navigate the parts around each other because there are a lot of parts that can bump into each other if you don't know what you're doing. It took me a good 30 minutes to transform him the first time around, <clears throat> which I was not expecting. It was a fun challenge. He has this little mace ball fold in his hand, and that forms a little gun he can use. I wish it came out a bit more, but then the hand won't be able to come out, so... Not much that can be done. Plug the ball in, and you have his weapon from the show. And this actually looks really threatening. I would not want to be punched by this. So, good job on the weapon, Hasbro. For posability, his head can look left and right, and up and down a little bit. It's on the ball joint, and this little hinge it's on here. You can't move it too much, but you can move it a little bit. The arms go forward, back, in and out, it rotates above the elbow, 360, and then you get, depending on the position of the shoulder panel, you get a little bit over one, uh, 90 degrees, and then the hands can twist in a little bit if you need them to. The legs go forward, just a little bit because this will get in the way. Well, wait a minute, actually, I think I may have that folded in just a little bit too much. There we go, that sits in there. Yeah, that lets his leg go up a, quite a bit more. Legs go back about that much. They go out that much, rotate above the knee. And, well, it's weird, he has two knee joints, but he only needs one. He has this one right here, which is not used for transformation and is quite limited. And if you use it, it blocks the other knee joint. But if you use the knee joint that has a transformation knee joint, he has a ton of range on that knee. It just curls up all over itself. And then he has each toe that can move. So, well, not this one so much because it will start going into the foot. This toe right here can be used to balance him quite a bit. His legs are a bit stumpy, so... It can be hard to make it look like he's doing anything but squatting for a crap. But, he's not bad. He has a lot of character, and I really like him. He's a fun figure. I recommend him. Though I will say, what is annoying is that he has this big of an instep that's not flat. And that makes it so you really need to fold his toes in to help him balance. Because it really removes any kind of illusion that he has a rotating heel or a rotating foot foot that can rotate to match the surface of the ground and that's a bit of a shame you see how I had to have that foot crawled in on it so much just to keep the foot flat and that is a bit of an issue and overall I do like this guy like just this pose right here he looks very heroic and manly and I like that 
I like me some manly Transformers. I mean, it, it's certainly a step up from anime to where he was... Well, he was a big, strong guy with quite a bit of weight, but here, he just looks like a bodybuilder. He looks great. He doesn't look perfectly accurate, like the panels on his chest should be filled in here and through here to make one big mass in front of him here, but I don't know what could have been done. Maybe a leader version can do something more, but who knows? He's a nice figure, and I do recommend him. Those are my thoughts. Thank you for watching.